give it basically the same blending options that we gave uh, our box, our side boxes, copy the layer style, paste it onto this box, and invert the color. So image, adjustments, invert, and there we go. That's basically a rough, uh, rough estimate of the box that we have in our final layout. And you can just move it, make sure it's lined up correctly, that its dimensions are roughly the same and then uh, let, me, let me just double check this is the right width I think this might be a little bit too tall if I create two of these let's see nope okay let's actually do that later let's uh let's go ahead and create this little line that we have there and then we'll double check the dimensions and duplicate it so create a new layer and then uh, with the pencil tool make sure you are black set and then you just click Hold shift to drag to make sure that it stays in a straight line. And uh, pull this down a little bit. And we can actually lower the opacity on this. Let's lower it. Let's try uh, 15. Looks about right, 15%. Okay. And then let's just go ahead and duplicate this group again. Just like that. Make sure you have the move tool. Just uh, nudge it over. Okay. And it looks like our boxes are just a little bit too tall, so I'm going to delete group 4, the, the group we just created, and I'm going to just uh, scale all of this by a little bit so that things fit nicely, hopefully. Hit enter. Duplicate it again this, and try again. Nudge it over. Oops, nudged it too far. It happens sometimes. Okay. Okay. So that's a, you know, a nice representation of what we have over here. And I'm going to leave the rest of it to you guys to fill in the headers over here, um, you know, whatever content you want to put in here, or whatever text you want to use here. And uh, feel free to, of course, change the contents of the menu up here, the background image, and the logo. And once you're done with this layout, you want to submit this, this Photoshop file for part one of Mini Project 2. And then you want to continue on with part two of Mini Project 2 uh, and actually cut this out and create a fully functional uh, website with HTML and CSS using background images um, based on the layout that you have here. So that's it. I uh, hope it wasn't too painful to listen to my voice and that you enjoyed the tutorial a little bit. Uh, I'll see you guys Monday.